Hello everybody and welcome to the UCI Trials World Championships here in Glasgow, Scotland for 2023. My name is Andre Burt and I am joined here with Matt Pengelly. Hello Matt. Hey Andre, how's it going? Not too bad. How are you today? Doing very well man. Blessed to be here in the wonderful place of Scotland in Glasgow. Absolutely. Looking forward to a top teams competition today. Uh, so we start the trials competitions off with the mixed team event. It's the first trials competition of this week to kick us off. We're getting all of the teams together, uh, all of the different countries competing, get, getting a team together to compete as, as a group. So here we can see the course for the teams, the mixed teams event starting off today with five sectors that the riders have to go through one by one two minutes to complete all five sectors we have 13 countries competing today and each, each team consists of between three and five riders and here so far we can see at the uci cycling world championships so far Great Britain leading the way with 41 medals in total. See if we can get some more, I must say. It's incredibly impressive how uh, they have been a very, very dominant force here. In 27 different countries in total. That's a pretty good turnout. It's absolutely incredible. And uh, yeah, it's amazing that uh, Glasgow and Scotland has been able to pull off such a fantastic event so far. And it's not over yet. We still have another three days of competitions after this as well. So here we go, we can see the format for this evening's competition. 200 points, max score. We've only got two minutes uh, run time to get through those sections. So very, very small window. You can see the crowds gathering now to, uh, to come and watch. We'll be kicking off very soon. There is Vasha Koller. Uh, he is multiple champion from the Czech Republic. Uh, he's going to be representing his team any moment now. Uh, so we're going to be starting in reverse order as well. So uh, the lowest ranked team overall will be starting the proceedings uh, all the way up to the winners for the past four years in a row, which is the Spanish team. Can they hold that position now? Okay, so we're going to go over and just have a quick look at the uh, expl explanation of how the competition is going to work. So we have two categories, the 20 inch and 26 inch categories. That is the size of the wheels. There's five sections of obstacles, two minutes for the overall section in the mixed teams tonight. Uh, 60 points and a total of 300 points. That's in the main competition. 200 points on offer for the mixed teams today. Feet down, you lose points. The rider with the highest score will be the winner. You just need to keep those feet on those pedals here. And this evening it is 17 degrees here. It's fairly cloudy and only 15 kilometers an hour wind. So not too windy. It's nice and dry. That's what we want to see. Trials becomes incredibly difficult in the rain. Yes. Which we may be seeing in the next few days, Matt. Most, at least all of these riders are really experiencing the proper British weather here. Let's see how the Spaniards do in this temperature. Yeah, it could be a bit of a challenge for them. Yeah. It's definitely much colder than they're used to. Got a lovely uh, layout here of each section, as you can see. Section number one there, the white blocks. Section number two with the logs there. Section number three, we've got the uh, the whiskey barrels and those sleepers over there. And uh, section number four is the, the cotton reels. Yep, and then finishing off with the UCI uh, zone at the end there. So that is the five different elements that you will see in the main course as well. Very much looking forward to that last section there because there's only a few, op there's only a couple of options that they've got to get up that big UCI logo. So it's going to be exciting. It will be interesting. So uh, each of the riders can actually choose uh, which path they take through the course. So um, they can decide whether they want to take the easier gates for less points or the harder gates uh, for more points. So the yellow gates uh, signify basically the, the, the hardest possible line. It's going to be worth 40 points in each zone, five zones, 200 points in total. So does it go down in scoring as the, the colour changes? Absolutely, yeah. So you have... 
10, 10 points for the easy escapes, 20, 30, and then 40 for the elite lines. Uh, so the great thing about the team's competition is we may see riders such as the junior riders may choose to try and do the elite gates yeah. uh, and earn their country more points. Uh, and we'll really see each rider is able to, instead of following their own category, they can actually ride harder or slightly easier and make sure they don't fail. Because if they fail any of the points, then they're going to lose not only those points, but lose their ability to carry on through the sections and gain all the other points in the next zones as well. They've got that opportunity to take the risks for the more points, but they could fall off the bike more likely or take a safer route and take less points. Absolutely. And here we can see the uh, final start list. So uh, Spain being the winners for the last four years. Tenth place we have down there. Finland, some cracking riders from every country. All of these athletes are absolutely incredible. And Many they're... national champions. All the way down in 13th place there, we have Australia. Australia. Traveled, definitely traveled the furthest uh, today. I know those guys have made a very big trip for this. They've won the points of the longest trip, that's for sure. Yeah. And uh, I think they're probably regretting the cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw he's like, what's this, a coat? Yes, yes, that will keep you dry. Yeah, we do use that in our summer. <laughs> And then here we have the commissaires panel. So uh, this is basically the judges that are going to be watching the riders through each zone, through the competition. Very experienced judges from lots of different countries know exactly what they're looking for. And they're going to be looking very closely to see how these riders get on. We've got some great crowds here as well for this evening's competition. Hopefully they're going to be making lots and lots of noise and getting behind these riders as they go through often shocked watching this type of uh, type of riding it's a fantastic spectator sport um, it, it will look easy to some people but that's because these guys have trained for years and years and years yeah absolutely we can see there on the screen uh, just showing you the yellow gate so they have to get both axles directly through so the center line of the bike has to go exactly through the middle of these gates so you can see that's worth 40 points and that's 40 a on the top one there in the middle is 40B, and then 40C is at the end. They have to go through all three without touching any part of their bike to gain those 40 points. So three gates to get the 40 points in total. Exactly, yeah. There's three parts. You must clean all the parts, only touching the tyres of your bike over these huge, very, very difficult obstacles. Definitely like to see some of the riders go for those bigger moves and really take those risks and get those points. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, each rider in the team's event, you know, you've really got to weigh it up. Do you go for the really big points or do you try and play it safe and hope that possibly some of the other guys may go a bit wrong on gates that are possibly a little bit too hard for themselves, push a little bit too hard. Um, also, once they've decided to start the gates, once they've decided to start a gate, they can't go back through. So uh, if they decide to start on the yellow gate and they go through, uh, the, like, so they can't change their mind, essentially. Yeah, once they've been through the A part of the gate, they can't then change their mind and go through uh, the easier gates. They are committed to that line. I need you to see how some of these logs will be as well when they're uh, when they're wet. I know they've put some uh, things on there to some chicken wire to kind of add some grip, but that might just add some other elements. You know, wires going into tyres could be interesting. So let's. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you can see on here we have some chicken wire just on there, just to give a little bit of extra grip. Uh, it's also going to be a little bit damp on the grass, so when the riders come off of the grass, up onto these obstacles, uh, to stop their tyres slipping too much, uh, there's, a, there's a little bit of extra friction on there, just so that they've got something to purchase on them. These are very, very steep logs. The tyres are going to be working very, very hard. You're going to be working hard to control your balance. And as you can see, this is well over three metres high in the centre here. This is zone two of the Demix Teams event. Um, and you can see it's towering above the audience in the background. It's a slightly different layout to normal, isn't it? It's usually sort of a long run of everything in a line. Um, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Slightly different this year. Yeah, which I think is fantastic. We're going to see a nice bit of movement and it creates yeah. some, uh, some nice different bike handling skills between the zones. You can have to move a little bit more left, right, sharp corners, that kind of thing, and really get the section dialed into your mind where you're going on the way through. It's fantastic fantastic artwork as well as we're seeing here they've done a really really fantastic job with these sections here this year yeah shout out to the organizers for putting in so much effort to build such a fantastic course uh, really looking forward to getting into the next few days of competitions no. i hope those barrels have still got whiskey in i wonder if they'll give them out at the end of the day who knows they are quite heavy so there must be a lot of whiskey. yeah <laughs> must be another I'm sure it's a cheaper way to weigh it down for the scots but as we can see here these gates this is now the uh uh 
So the red, yeah, the red gates are essentially the junior gates. You 30. can see they've got the 30 um, written on them there. So that basically means it's. What is this 30. rope that these guys can see here, Dre? Okay, so the rope basically signifies the edge of the section. So you're not allowed to put your wheels over the um, vertical line above. So they can't cross it, yeah. They can't cross that. Invisible wall. It's, yeah, it's an invisible wall. So if the axles or the centre line of the bike go over those lines, you're going to be basically given what's called a five, five points, um, and you'll have to stop riding, and that's it. You're done on the entire section, so you can't carry on throughout the whole of that section. That but if they've section. carried on through section one and two, they've got the points, and they put their foot down on section three, do they still get the points? If they've only put their foot down, yeah, but they lose the points for that section. Yeah. So uh, it won't be long now until we start the first rider off. So they're going to be going one by one, and we're going to be going one rider from each country uh, as it goes through the list. So we're going to be starting off with Australia, Japan, Slovakia, Finland, Italy, Austria, Czech Republic, Sweden, Great Britain, Switzerland, Germany, France, and Spain. And then we will be starting again from there. So that's the 13 nations taking part. Nathan Mummery there from Australia ready to start and actually uh, this is something different that we see in this event these riders get to ride bikes that aren't necessarily yeah. their normal bikes so Nathan normally rides a 26 inch category he will be competing on Friday in the 26 inch elite category but he's got a 20 inch bike here I believe he's borrowed it from uh, fellow Brit Charlie Rolls and uh, he's going to be riding the 20-inch elite. It's really interesting to see, especially for us. You know, we know most of these riders. We know the Percy too. And, and I've never seen Nathan ride a 20-inch. So I think this is going to be interesting for all of us. I have seen it, but it has been a couple of years now <laughs> since I saw him and him and myself riding the 20-inch <laughs> yeah. elite. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to, to see him ride this. And obviously, uh, thanks to, to Charlie there for, for helping out. Yeah, absolutely. And you can see the riders in the background there. That's the warm-up area for this evening. Um, and so, uh, yeah, the, all the riders are going to be getting warm, getting focused, getting dialed in, uh, so they're ready to start. So everybody's going to be going through this yeah, start really, platform. Really interested to see some of these people's approach. I like to think I would. I'm not going to say anything because there is a, a commentary curse, so I will not be uh, giving my opinions right now. <laughs> but we shall see how, uh, how these guys are going to approach this. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what line Nathan decides to uh, ride on the 20-inch bike. I know he hasn't, he's not super experienced, but he's an incredibly powerful athlete. Yeah. So uh, I'm hoping yeah. he's going to do very well. So up onto the first obstacle through that first gate. It's already no problem so far. Nice. Quick 30 points there. I believe that was a 20 point. So uh, let's see how he goes through. As he gets through the end of the sector, we will get the score through. So up onto two wheels, just making sure that front axle goes inside that gate there. And as he crosses that line, he will get the points for the previous gate. So he's through the red marker, he's going red. to the red. That's a 30 then, isn't it? Yep. Red line here, yep. So 30 points he's going for on the sector two. And yet, I was right on the first sector, he did go for the 20-point gate. Yep. So he's not allowed to touch any of his pedals, just in case uh, any of you watching don't know exactly. You're not allowed to touch anything but your tyres. If you do, you lose the points for that sector. All tyres, no feet, no pedals. Stay on that bicycle. Absolutely. So another 30 points he picks up for Team Australia there. Riding really well. Into section number three. Looks like he's going to go for the red here. Yeah, let's see if he can get this run up. One pedal stroke straight to back wheel. Nicely done, nicely held. Keeping yeah. that front wheel inside that horizontal line, as you can see. Trying to stay composed. So he's, he's lost the front wheel slightly on the other side. Tricky one here. How's he going to get out? He's always, I yeah. think he saved it. Straight. Okay, so now he's put a foot down. He will lose the 30 points he's been trying to get on this sector, but he can carry on. Can carry on because it's just, as you said, a dab, not a full five. There. He's not exactly. out. Exactly. It's just a, yeah, like like you say there, a dab. We call it a dab in trials. If you put your foot down. It's a section. Yep, into zone four. Four on the back wheel. Trying to decide which way. Oh, oh, oh no, he's no. Just lost his footing. Oh. I'm not at he went up, he changed his mind and thought, no, I'm not going to go for that, I'm going to go for the other way. Oh. And unfortunately, he just caught his back wheel he's, as he's come down. It's all about those. Over the handlebars. So he's lost all the rest of the points. So he's going to finish on a total of 50 points. It's those last minute decisions. You might have, these riders spend time looking at the section saying, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go through this, this attempt. But when you're there, Dre, even you know, when you're actually there, you might suddenly change your mind. 
Yeah, absolutely. And uh, that's that's the difficult thing. You have to really know what you're doing in your mind. Japan is now in. Yep, so we have Runa Ichikawa from 14 Japan starting her battle on the, on this section. Come for uh, section number two there, went for the, the 20 points, the blue gate. Now into section number three. Yep, so 10 points on sector one, 20 points on sector two. What will she get on sector three? Looks like she's going for another 20-point gate here. You must remember, they are being timed. They only have two minutes to get through all of these sections. Yes, and as you see there, she just slipped back slightly and touched the edge of her toe and got one point, which means, and the, the observer, the judge is there watching very, very closely for the tiniest touch of the toe, and she's lost the point. So she's got zero on that sector, but she's straight through into sector four now. That's, that'll be why you see these, uh, what we call observers here. They've got their hands up. They'll either have a fist, which means there's no dabs or foot downs. And if they put one finger up, it means that there has been a dab or a foot down. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, a nice pedal up move there. One rotation of the pedals up onto that cable. We've got a great crowd in the background here as well watching. Nicely composed as well. Come on, Runa. Yes, fantastic. Nicely done. Gone, so that's another... I think she went for the, the blue gate there. Yeah, so she should be another 20 points now. So she's on a total of 50. So Equaling Nathan Mummery, actually. Ah, well, this is the final section now. Oh, and unfortunately, oh, just failing that last one up gate there. Even though that's the smallest part of that section there, it is actually pretty difficult. So I'm really interested to see... Um, how many people are going to get caught out in section number five? Yep, absolutely. And uh, as far as I know, Runa hasn't ridden any World Cups this year. So uh, she's straight in at the deep end. So Slovakia is up now. Yes, we have William Toth, who is for Team Slovakia. He's going into section number two now. He's gone for the, the ten points in section one. Um, looks like going for the 20 here on the Blues. Yep. Oh, that's really it's so simple there. Wheel didn't quite that get is. to the top of the log, just, just slipped out there. It's incredibly thin, incredibly thin. Yeah, and that's the thing. Trials looks very, very nice and controlled until you miss your back wheel by literally just an inch there, and his back wheel has just flown off the side of that log. So straight in next with our next rider from Italy, Diego Crescenzi. We're going to see how Diego gets on any moment now that is uh, quite upsetting for William I'm sure he was hoping to get a few more points than that oh it looks like he's going for the elite gate the hardest line yes this is the Nilo first here from Finland oh I'm sorry I did jump the gun there that's yeah. all right well look at that this yeah. first rider we've seen go for the maximum 40 points there Nilo making it just like absolute easy work yeah, Nilo is one of the top riders in the world now he's an incredibly powerful rider uh, we're looking I think he's a first year elite I believe this is his first elite he's very very he's very young but incredibly powerful yeah so we're going to see some interesting now, this approaches. is a very, very scary line here. He's got to go up to the top here. There is really not a lot of room on this. And he's well over three metres high. And going to go. he's got to go straight vertically down. Look at this. Right on the edge of that little piece of wood. To back wheel and down. To the mark is he's down there from Nilo, yeah. He also recently suffered quite a bad injury to his ankle. Nearly broke his ankle when he was here in England training a few weeks back. His first ever visit. <laughs> a month ago now. Oh, lovely job from Nilo there. Front to back. Up onto that uh, onto that sleeper. sleeper there. And then nicely staying on that beam. Amazing balance by he's just making, that isn't. He's making that look way too easy. Yes. And another 40 points. So 40, 40, 40 through oh, the he's, first. He's going to go for max if he can. So let's see. Well composed. Neil is obviously running a 20 inch here. He's actually on a full carbon bike. So the forks and frame here are, are carbon fibre. Yeah, incredibly light bikes now. Now this, uh, this move in the elite. Uh, section is very, very difficult. Especially trying to try and put that front wheel over the other side. Oh, he's held it. I think he managed to get away with not getting the penalty points for the pedal there. So nicely holding it on the back wheel, turning around. You can see how accurate you have to be and how precise, perfect with your balance. All right, this is what people really wanted to see. He's going for the biggest box here, straight into it. He's got it. Look at that. Lovely hook. Nearly six foot high and he made that look like child's play. Fantastic riding there from Nilo. 
So that's our first rider all the way through the sections there. No surprise from Nilo. All 200 points for Nilo. Incredible. Just look at that. Just textbook um, hook there from Nilo as we... Very, very good indeed. So next up, we are going on to Diego Crescenzi from Italy. Italy. Riding the Men's Elite 20-inch. No, no, he's, he's... Also, we should probably point out that Nilo is actually, he's not first year elite, he's yeah. last year junior. So he's still he's riding still one year. junior. So he's going to be right up there for the podium. Diego's gone straight for the maximum points there. No surprises made, there. Made very light work of that, didn't Yeah, he? absolutely. And it might, he's a very tall rider for someone that rides a 20, but it just makes it look so comfortable. Yeah, and to option, opting for the 30 points on the second sector there. Slightly. Quite a wise decision because it is pretty awful going down yeah. that steep log that we just saw Nilo do. Also, again, gone for the for the red gate there, the 30 points, maybe playing it a little bit safer. Yeah, absolutely. So. These guys can really plan their routes with the team here. You know, if you're telling your team, I'm going to get this points, this points, and then together, it is a team effort. Yeah, absolutely. It's quite a different aspect, I think, to riding the normal trials competition where it's just kind of yes. you against the world as such but um, here it's really about doing well for your country for the whole team nicely 30 points there on sector okay. three all right section number four he's gone for the elite gate there the, the yellows but that's the first one remember he's got to do three gates yeah so in each zone although there's one gate so essentially it's uh he'd be on gate four here there's a b and c to each gate and you have to clear all three without touching the pedals to stay clear through the section so he's done really well that is very very high to get the front wheel up and over from one head up. that's actually taller than me walking around there yeah. and i'm pretty tall not going to line that. I'm, I'm very tall. Seconds. Definitely Make above average. One, not sure why you're laughing. Make All right, here we go. 40 points in sector four. Here we go. Get the last up. So close. Oh, oh, and I must. I, I'm, I must say I was running out of time there. He had three seconds left, so he, he couldn't stop and wait and get himself composed, get his energy back. And sometimes the, the riders are going to often ask the observers, say, "Can I ask for the time, please?" And that will bring pressure to them. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Just not so quite he enough. Close. He was very close. Fantastic effort there from Diego. But yeah, look how gutted he is. He knows he can do that. He knows he can. So he will be let's hope he can sleep tonight. All right, then next up we have Austria. Ostheimer. Aus Nicholas coming in. Gone for the simple, simple gate for now to keep it straightforward. Okay, let's see how Nicholas gets on. Looks like he's going for the uh, 30 point gates here, maybe. Yeah. Or is this the 20? This is the 20 point gate, so through the blue markers. And then sector two, it looks like he's going for the 30 point gate up through the red. The red markers here, straight to back wheel, no problem. Latching that front wheel over, hooking on, pulling hard back on the handlebars to keep a bit of friction on that front tyre. Bit the traction there. Big pull on the bars, straight to back tyre, no problem, 90 yeah. return. Drop down to the floor there. Section number three, let's see um, which gate he's going to go for. Perhaps he's lining up for the 40 or uh, no. Nah, going for the 30. For slightly different option. For the 30, yeah. Good option. I probably would have chosen that direction as well. Straight up that one and gap across. And he's got to try and control his balance. Not a lot of room there for the back wheel. Try and spin round to the side. Just to get his back wheel up onto that beam as well. And then he can, he can roll out. Yeah, control his balance there. Just a bit wider than the tyre there, that being really got to control the balance along there. And a lot of confidence within yourself here as well. And he's straight into the uh, first rider we've seen go to the 30-point gate here. So you can just see the red marker on the edge of that cable reel. But they won't get the points until they leave the final section. Yeah, so they get the points as they cross the white line on the floor. So, so there is his front go. He crosses that floor. That's where he takes the points. He gets another 30 points. He's on 110 in total. Oh, so unfortunate there. Just Maybe not quite enough speed. I think he could have been tired. I mean, 
yeah. the thing is they're doing all these moves before that very last the biggest move you know they're going to be tired they're going to be fatigued so it's really going to um, show who's up the top there okay next we, yes, have, next we have Rene for from the Czech Republic, Republic. So, flying straight through the nice. first sector I believe for 20 points there he is still a junior as well it's really good there's a lot of young riders coming up through this sport now it's really good to see this is also great yes. for these riders to get a little just a, a nice little warm up before the uh, before the individual competition yeah. starts um, uh, and these junior riders will be competing tomorrow as well as will the, the girls will be on track tomorrow so if you are in Glasgow come down to Glasgow Green check out the competition tomorrow it's absolutely free yep it's completely absolutely free. free and they've got loads going on here they've got bars they've got restaurants they've got food there's lots to come in you can even come and have a go so uh, the Scottish bike trial guys are here uh, and they've got a have a go area so you can come and give this a go get on one of the bikes practice your balance they've got some experts there to uh, give you some pointers to improve your bike control and handling so do come on down if you are in the area all day tomorrow all day Saturday all day Friday, sorry about. This is that final section now. It's going to see what, what gate he's going to approach for, which I think we've going for red. 30 points. It's a pretty strong score right now. He's gone for some safer yeah, gates. Points. And this is still a big step up to the top of this one. Oh, it's catching people out. It is difficult. So the thing is, is when you when you get start to get a little bit tired, trying to keep your body weight forwards on these big moves, you can't, probably can't see on the screen so much, but that's nearly shoulder height. I mean, that's got to be about one meter forty-five. Yeah, I went and stood there earlier, and that one is uh, about my height. And it's a big move. It is a big, big move. Look at that, just jumping down, cushioning the landing there. Something we see a lot in trials. You have to be able to land on your feet very confidently when these moves don't quite work. Oh, and then Sweden. I believe that's Alexander Carlson coming in. He is the 26-inch uh, men elite rider from Sweden. He's uh, riding the aluminium gypsy, 26-inch. On to section number two, the logs. Let's see. Uh, quite an experienced rider, so I'm interested to see if he's going to go for those max points. Yeah, this will be interesting. I mean, like we were saying, you need to try and think about the team and what you don't want is to go wrong early on because you can lose so many points um, if you go slightly wrong. For a slightly safer option there with the 30 points, um, it'll be interesting to see what he's feeling here. You can see he's asking for the time so he can calculate his, uh, his next move. Yeah, it looks like he's going for the 30-point gate here. Let's see. Oh, a little wrong way side off. Oh no, he's, no, he's, he's doing it. He's going for the 40 points. 40. He's definitely got this one. I know he's a very powerful rider. He's lovely. Yeah. Got through it. You know, there's no points for style here. Just get through the gate. Oh no. He's up. Because he's put his foot down there, that means he can't get the points for that gate. So he's going on to the next sector. So unfortunate as well. He's got those 40 points, but let's see if he'll make up for it now. So that's uh, it's A of that gate. He's got to do two more for for the max points on uh, on this one. Yeah. So again, he's uh, trying to go for the forty point gate here. Let's see what he's got. Can he get this? This is a long way up. Long way to get that front tire right up over the top. You can see compared to the observer in the background there. I mean, it's well over six foot. Really showing the height here. Oh, yes. that's it. Well he's done. Got it. Watch that toe doesn't tap on that reel. Yeah, so you can see the observer there right in line on the side, making sure that his toe doesn't touch that at all. Got to keep it on his tyres. Big switch up to back rear, and you can hear the crowd getting behind him there. Very nicely done. The final section, but I think he's out of time. Yeah, two minutes is up. For Alexander Carlson. So it'll be interesting to see whether he's awarded those 40 points. I'm not sure that he was. Next up, we have Great Britain. 50 points. Let's see how great we really are. So first up, we have Elliot Cooper from Team GB. Young this will be interesting to see how he goes. Young junior rider. He does normally ride a 20-inch, I believe, and he's, he's riding a 26 here. Yeah, so this is a little bit out of some of the riders' comfort zones, really. Yeah, absolutely, and it's good. It's good for these guys to uh, push themselves. And um, yeah, like I said, it's it's nice to kind of get that 
you know, get that nervousness out of the way almost before we go into the individual trials competitions. So here we go. Elliot Cooper riding 26 inch, 14 GB. Sure, the crowd here is going to be getting behind him. Yeah, so he's going to go for that straight, simple points. Just get points. That's what we need. Lovely style there. Pedaling straight up to the front wheel and a little switch through to the back wheel. He's making it look quite stylish, I must say. He's gone for the double block. Looks like he's going up across for the 20 points, trying to hold his balance there. Used to that bigger wheel. Yeah, the big wheels. Well done, Elliot. He's making, making good work of this and good progress. Yes, 20 points for sector one there for Elliot Cooper. Come on, Elliot. Let's see what he's got. Up that balance beam. Now we did see one of the guys earlier on slip his back wheel out on this, so he knows he needs to be very, very careful with this. Some really good support we can hear in the crowd from Elliot. There we go. You see the back wheel landing perfectly on the top there. He's calm and collected, isn't he? He is. He is. Now this will be interesting. Will he go for the 20 or will he go for the 30? I think he's going for the 20 points here. This is a very sensible riding from Elliot. We will see him riding the 20-inch bike tomorrow in the junior category. On the back wheel, dropping down. So this isn't even his bike, you know. He's already sort of probably not used to. No, I believe it's Steve's bike. Uh, one of the other elite riders from Great Britain is uh, lending the 26-inch bike. He is looking good there. Looking solid, you can hear in the background there, nice bit of support for Elliot. Along the balance beam, down to the floor, nicely done in the crowd, giving them a big round of applause. It's clean so far, as we like to say, if they're going for all the sections, we call it a clean. So let's see. Yeah, and as he moves on to sector four of this mixed team trials championship, on the back wheel, turn him all the way around. Getting set up, look at this, up onto yes. the edge of the cable wheel. Yes. 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 Down there. Yeah, he's probably not used to that wheel, you know, jumping up. It's probably there's a lot of wheel beneath him that he's used to. They've given him five. Oh no, that is the oh, oh, Elliot. What happened there? Oh, I, think, I think his axle went over the marker. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. But really nice little replay slow mo there. Beautiful in section number one there, but unfortunately got caught out on the uh, on the fourth section there it's unfortunate for Elliot Cooper but a fantastic effort point total there and now Switzerland is up next so Lucien Laser uh, coming out for Switzerland now Lucien is an incredibly good elite rider very very powerful indeed so uh, quite excited to see how he gets on. I've no doubt he's going to go for all the hardest gates. Look at that big power move, hooking the front wheel up. That move is what we call a hook. Straight up to back wheel across those points. No problem. But that is almost three metres up in the air, those concrete blocks. Scary enough on your feet, let alone on your bike. Yeah, exactly. Very quickly through this sector two for another... 30 points he went for there, rather than the 40. Can't blame him because, yeah. It's the scary. line we saw Nilo do earlier really yeah. is quite scary. I think he's going to go for the big one here. Let's have a look. Yeah. You can see front. Oh, oh no. Oh, and he just missed his front wheel. He shot the front wheel, didn't he? I don't know if that was because it was a little bit damp and he overshot it or just too powerful. It could have been too powerful. He just shot the front wheel straight over the other side. That is very disappointing. He looks very annoyed with that. He's going to get the, the 40 points there. Fortunate. So he's still got the same points as we did for uh, for Great Britain here at 40. So I believe he's riding less. a little bit ahead in total. That would be 70, no? Yes. Wait for our scores to be updated. Next up, we're going to have the Germans. Germany now um, have, uh, in our last team trial came third. Yeah, and we have a big star coming up next. Multiple world champion Nino Reichenbach. Nino Reichenbach. Fantastic rider there. Yep, and uh, the female category at the moment is absolutely exceptional to watch. We have uh, some very, very talented riders. The last few years, the level has definitely been pushed up by these girls. And uh, Nina's right up there on the forefront of it all, really pushing that. Look at that. Yeah. Perfect placement with the back tyre. Might work, so it's 10. It's another 20 points now. Section number three into our barrel section. 
Yep, riding Look. the 20-inch Maestro bike here. Yeah. Maestro Pro X. Look at that. That was Yeah, you see incredible. the way she wedged the wheels on there? Amazing bit of technique yeah. there. Great hold. That was real confidence there in her ability to hold that. So, gone for the next one up. It's a lovely 10, 20. Is she going to get 30 for this if she goes through here? I think she can get it. Holding the balance. Yes! Fantastic balance. Well done, Nina. Picking up another 30 points. So she's on 60 in total already. So two sectors to go. Creeping up now. Looks like she's going for the next red gate. This is absolutely fantastic. Really hard lines here. Yes! Doing well. Come on, Nina. Here we go. On the back wheel. Spinning round. Up and over that. Yes. Nice and, nice and easy. Also riding another carbon trials bike there. Slightly different to the uh, the rest of them there. So it's slightly different geometry. More suited to her as a rider. Oh, Nina. fantastic. Another 30 points in sector four. On to the last sector. She's got 25 seconds to get this last move. Can she get this step up? Just see if she can really put them up into the hundreds here. Here we go. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Straight up to two oh, Straight through the oh, right. Right. Out the exit. The crowd is loving that. And 100 points there. Oh, okay. right and back. Germany in the top five now. So creeping up. Yeah. Team Germany will be very happy with that. I think that's a fantastic score there for Nina. Check this out in the replay. Watch that back wheel. It's just nothing to Perfect. land on there. Absolutely nothing. So precise. No. And we can see where the rider fell off previously and just missed the back wheel to the side. So next up, we have Vincent Hamant, three times elite world champion yes. and current French national champion. And he, he actually won the last time we were in Glasgow. I think it was 2007. He won he was, yeah. the men's elite 26. Yep, he did indeed. 2007, I believe he won his first title in... His first French title was 2003 in the elite category, and he's just won again 20 years later. Light work of that first gate by Vincent Herc. <laughs> now, uh, we should talk about the difference between 20 and 26 inch bikes, because with the 26 inch bikes, we run uh, twin rim brakes. That's why you can hear that sound squeaking away on the back brake. Whereas on the 20 inch, they generally run a rear disc brake. And that's basically because the brakes actually, uh, you're the, you get more movement on the 26 inch wheel if you run a disc brake on the back. It's too much flex, I suppose. There. Yeah. So just to point out there, Vincent just lost his balance slightly to the left at the top there. So he didn't go through the last gate. So he's going to have to go back round all the way back up to the top and do this again to get these points for this gate. Fortunate to have another go there. It could have just gone wrong for him. So let's see. So working his way up on the back wheel. Not a lot of room. Looking for that little blue edge. Yes. Nice. Got him down straight into section number three now. Yeah, straight to the floor. That is a long way. I looked at that earlier. That is a big drop down to the yeah. floor. Light work for Mr. Vincent here. Straight front to the back wheel and drop down. Easy. Absolute nice. textbook yeah. there from Vincent. Yeah, so he's probably put himself under a little bit of a time pressure here now. Sector three, he's got four, just over 40 seconds left. That's it. One mistake can really cost you all of your time there. So let's see if he's going to pick up the pace. Yeah, he'll be wanting to try and get full marks here. So he really needs to get a bit of a move on if he's going to catch up to Nilo's amazing score of 200 earlier on. It's the best score we've had so far. Yeah, Finland really in the lead right now. It's a lovely replay of Vincent's hook there. It's absolute textbook through that one there. So it's section number four now. So unfortunately we're missing the last bit, but I think he just missed the last gate on sector five. Oh, no, Vincent there he just didn't quite get the uh, the gate. I'm sorry about that. We're not quite sure what happened, but 60 points Vincent got. Okay, the, uh, the current mixed team champions now, Spain. Yeah, so Spain have won the team competition for the last four years, I believe. And then uh, the year before that, it was France. So, yeah. a big hook there. That a lot of effort. Yeah, Daniel Segara riding really well through that first sector to collect the full 40 points. 
He's actually also a junior rider as well. So uh, incredibly strong junior rider here. Junior basically means they are under 19 years. Same as all other UCI disciplines that we have seen over the week. And he's going for the elite line again. Over to the front wheel, switch into the Lovely front down there, yeah. Looking super confident here, riding the Comas 26-inch trials bike. Danny Comas, multiple elite world champion himself as well. Who's now running this brand, his own brand of trials bikes from Spain. So that should... Uh, Another 40 points there. What's he going to go for here? He's going for the 30 points here. Can't blame him on As that. Expect he's uh, got a strong score and he's still got two sections to go. Yeah, nice little side up move there, pushing the front wheel in to the back wheel through the middle of the cable wheel and down, collecting another 30 points. As his front axle goes through. Let's see if we can get. So Nilo's the only one that's got through this uh, final gate so far. Yeah, it looks like he's going for the big gate. I think he's got this. I've seen him incredibly good on her. Nicely done. Right in into the front wheel there. Switching up to oh. the back wheel. It's a strong, strong start for the Spaniards. 180 80. points. 180 points for him through there. So that's the second best score we've had so far of any rider. And that completes 13 countries. First riders through for the 13 countries. We go back to... Janine Youngfells from Australia now. She's former world champion back in 2017, I believe, first year in China. Now, uh, Janine's a very powerful rider. She hasn't competed very much for the last couple of years, but uh, it's nice to see her back here at the World Championship. Dusting off the cobwebs there for the bike. Absolutely. She actually rode quite well in the uh, last round of the World Cup over in France. Like uh, a lot of the, the Australian team, they came over, rode the World Cup two weeks ago in France, and uh, now they are here for the World Championship. So, light work of that 10-point gate for sector two for Janine. It's in good time here. Section number three, got one minute 30 left. So, very composed rider, Janine here. Yeah, I think she's just trying to stay steady and make sure she gets through to the end of the section. Yeah try and collect as many points as she can quite a calculated away. rider i think she'd rather take the uh the safe routes to really get those points and uh get some more scores for australia yeah 30 points so far after three sectors looks like she's going for this big pedal up move i think she might be going for the 30 point gate here you know let's see let's have a look has she got this this is a big move we saw nina go through this earlier on Oh, oh, that's so unfortunate of Nina. Of Janine, you mean. Sorry, Janine. <laughs> Good effort there. Sorry, no, Janine. It's like, I really didn't expect that from Janine, actually, but I guess it's just getting back into it, getting the flow. Yeah, it is It is actually quite an awkward move to go through the middle of these cable reels because if the back wheel is too low, they do. T it does tend to suck the back wheel underneath that edge. It's got to have, so you've got, to, got the snood on to keep them warm. They're really not used to this climate, I don't think. Okay, next up we go to Ibuki Himano, Himano from Japan. Japan. Ibuki riding the uh, Men Junior 26-inch category here at in Glasgow for the World Championships. Again, these guys are going to be competing tomorrow as well. We've got the juniors and the women's semi-final here on Glasgow Green tomorrow. Up to front wheel, beautiful nice style there. Swap there. Yeah. Very nice. We'll give extra points for style, just in our books here. Just in our own books. So he's going he's gonna to go for the... The Japanese team are known for being incredibly smooth. They have a very beautiful style, and he's adopting it well. So through 30-point gates for sector number two. Should be uh, 50 points in total now, going into section number three. Absolutely right. Which gate is he going for? As much time as some of them, so let's, let's see how he's going to do. He's doing quite well on time. So, like we were saying at the uh, beginning, if the front axle goes over that that rope, that tape just to the left, uh, just held it there nicely, you have failed the entire section. So you, you cannot carry on if the front wheel crosses that vertical line above that tape. So here we go for another thirty-point gate. Just overbalancing backwards. Come on, he's kept it though. He stayed on the bike. That's the best way for it. Yeah. 
So don't forget, guys, we've got another three days of non-stop action here uh, in Glasgow with the trials. We have the junior 20 and 26-inch categories tomorrow and the females. The ladies are going to be riding uh, tomorrow, the semi-finals as well. We've got a big entry for the women tomorrow. We've got 20 seconds left. He's going for the last 30-point gates here Come with on. the Buki for Team Japan. Big hook. He's got left. He could still got time. He needs to really commit his shoulders forwards. Pedal really hard. Come on, the crowd's behind him. Oh, oh. It's great to see, though. You know, he's still got, still gone for it. The encouragement we're getting from the crowd is really good. Fantastic turnout. I mean, we're going to just see the amount of people around the arena, and it's really great. Yeah, and this is just the beginning. This is the uh, mixed team event, just to kick things off. Little slow mo there, trying to hook the front wheel over that edge. Trying to keep his weight forwards. That step is around my shoulder height, which is, uh, I'd say it's about 1 meter 50. That's a fantastic effort from Japan there on their second rider. Nicely done. So they'll be adding up his points. They're currently on uh, 50. I think he just got another 40. So here goes. Slovakia uh, are now in. Leah Kakova straight in for her first ride of the competition here in Scotland. It's a dual, uh, this is a dual disc bike. Actually, she's got a disc brake on the front and the rear. It, again, it's just a preference here for the riders. Yep, some people really like that uh, kind of twin disc feel. You can uh, have a lot of modulation with the front disc, but you also get a little bit of movement in the wheel. So for pinning the front wheel on these big moves, you're going to see the riders go to front wheel. Okay, so you can just see the current ranking there. Finland leading the way with Nilo score of 200 points. And down, uh, Slovakia down in last place with just 20 points. But all to play for, still many, many riders to go for each team. Great Britain down in 11th place. But don't worry, we do have some very good riders to come yet. So all to play for, all can change. Very, very early days, but a great score there from Nilo. She did just put her foot down, I think. Of course, Daniel Segara, second place, and Vincent Hermance in third place for France so far. So does she just get one point there? So she gets a zero on that sector as she moves into sector four. Right, she didn't crash or put both feet down, so she can carry on to the next section. Oh, just unfortunately, yeah. coming off there, just back wheel was just a little bit short on that pedal up. So she's going to move on to the final section there because she's not going to get any points for section number four. I think she's running very short on time. She's gone straight to the exit just to get those points. Yeah, so that's 20 points there for Leah. Finland's now the, the current leaders stepping up. So let's see what kind of score... They'll get in oh. this round. And next we have Emil from uh, from Finland. He's been training hard this year, so I'm quite excited to see what he can bring to the table. You can see there in the replay, just the back wheel was just that little bit too short. Didn't quite lift the back wheel enough and get it onto that edge. It's just going to slip back, forcing her to put her foot down. So Emil next from Finland. Here we go. On a, on a 20 inch now, usually uh, these Finnish riders, Nilo and Emil, have really been pushing pushing themselves this year. He's been over here in the UK for two months actually training with Jack Carthy, the current world champion from Yorkshire. Spent two months training with Jack, so uh, he's really stepped his game up. Yeah, I've seen a lot of impressive it. videos on social media from these guys as well. Yeah, really stepped his game up here, so let's see if he can keep the Finland team at the top. Yeah, nice ride in there. Straight up to back wheel, hooking that front wheel over. Low flying pigeon in the background as well. One of the locals flying over the top. <laughs> Alright, here we go. On to sector number three, onto the whiskey barrels. He's on 50 in title now. Let's see if he's going to go for the red here. So that's going to be an extra 30 if he makes it. Here we go, just lining up. Now, trials is all about balance and control. You really have to be absolutely inch perfect. A little bit right or left, tyres are going to slide off these obstacles, fly straight down. 
Here we go. Looks like he's going to gain. Yep, another 30 so points. Good. Fantastic. So calm. Up to 80 points so far for Emil. On the back wheel. Going for another 30 points in sector four as well. Up to the back wheel. Dropping down. 14 Finland. 35 seconds left. Just got to complete this last gate in the section number four so he can move on to five it's a good score so far points so far and he's going for another 30 points now and you've got 20 seconds left so it's got to go probably on the first try so let's see yep don't know if he's gonna have enough time for a second try yeah. hook to front wheel now a bit of scope out here nice now yeah. hook to front wheel yeah. so i heard today that uh, some of the trolls team have named that an english breakfast an English breakfast. I've, I've heard that yeah, today. And that's, I've only and heard it that was today from the well. Finland team. Oh, really? It was actually a meal. He said, we call that an English breakfast. I, lo I love that. That is absolutely... If you switch to back wheel, it's called a full English. So that is called a full English breakfast, apparently. Actually fantastic. I love that we come up with these names, to be honest. So, fantastic effort from Finland there. There's another in, still in the lead here. Okay. So, Italy. great ride there from Emil from Finland. Next we are with Christian Bursi from Italy. Men junior 20-inch rider. He will be competing tomorrow in the 20-inch junior category as well. He's gone for the 20-point the gate here. Yep, and that switch, the dive to front wheel and switch through to the back wheel is very much a modern trials technique. So, uh, really pinning the weight over the front wheel, getting your balance controlled on the front axle and switching through to the back tyre. It's allowing riders now to do much, much bigger moves, uh, bigger gaps, using it on pedal ups, side ups, and gaps, everything much more. Both wheels really used to get over these ridiculous looking obstacles. Just try and imagine lining up next to a whiskey barrel like that on your bike at home and just hopping straight up to the back wheel, controlling your balance, putting all that power in through the bike and controlling your balance at the same time. I mean, Matt, I can imagine that you have absolutely no concept of how you could do this. It is one of those I do not know. Even I ride, believe it or not, and somehow... I'm only joking, Matt. Is, <laughs> Matt is a very capable rider himself. Uh, I mean, Italy now has really come up. When you see here, he's really got some good scores for them, but there's still some time. There's still some time. Yeah, Christian making a light work of the first three sectors straight into the 30 point gate for sector four here turning on the back wheel onto the edge of the cable reel and down nice and solid very calm really taking his time taking a breather despite 30 uh, 30 seconds left yeah you can really see how the time just eats away when you've got this many gates to go through and just i wouldn't sort of expect them to sort of rush and really get through it but you just can't do that in trials you just can't it's very difficult to keep that continuous moment uh, movement and motion going in trials when you need to keep balance and composure and a bit of energy so he's going for this 30 point gate can he get it yes yes on it that's going to put Italy very nice Christian right up there now they are the contenders so far but we still have another 140 points for Italy there that is a fantastic score for our, their junior rider now we've got Austria I believe we'll probably have one of the Peckhacker brothers if I'm taking a we have Alexander Peckhacker yes. up next fantastic so, uh... guy one of the off so I'm going to say that's the first shindig rider we've got here today too. So Alex there borrowing a bike. Yep. Usually rides a 20 inch. Yep. So he's uh, now riding the 26 inch. Going to see how he gets on with these big wheels. Quite a high front handlebar setup there. He's yeah. definitely amended those. Yeah, so he would have been training on this for the last half an hour to an hour or so, just to try and get used to these big wheels. It would have been 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. There is actually quite a big difference between the 20 and 26 inch bikes these days. He's really playing it safe here. Most importantly, difference in techniques as well, isn't there, Matt? Yes, this is it. You can't, being a 20 inch rider going straight to a 26, I mean, I can't do half the stuff. So it's almost more impressive to see these guys get on somebody else's bike. You know, it's like a rally driver getting into a completely different car. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah it's like a rally driver getting onto a motorbike, really. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah more, more so of that. <laughs> so Alex says, so got 20 points for his first section. He's going to aim for the, the 30 here in section number two with just a minute left. Yeah, he's looking nice and confident so far. Uh, also borrowing a bike from uh, a British rider. We've really come and yeah, yeah, from, uh, through from all of these guys. Mind control there. <laughs> See, Adrian just uh, lent him his bike for this competition so that Team Austria can have their best chance. 
There we go, go for another 30 point gate here. There we go, up to the two wheels. Now this kind of movement is where he's going to really struggle compared to when he's used to a 20 inch bike. Yeah. The wheels being a little bit big. Can he hold it? Come on. Leave it. Oh, Alex. Oh, still going. Oh, Steve Alex, the yeah. crowd really loved that. I bet that was on purpose. That. That. that was on purpose, I'm sure. Oh, I'd like to agree with you, but I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, let him, we'll let him say that later. But straight in then, the 30 points gates here as well. He is incredibly strong. He's uh, one of the few... Uh, guys will see that actually are riding with their brother in the competition Thomas Petarka who was his brother was world champion as well and he's out of time in sector 4 and 80 points so that's a great score for Alex oil, though. he's really enjoyed that he really has Hasn't well it? done Alex great to, great to see you on a different bike too great fantastic sport. effort from from Austria there and now we're going to be moving to the the Czech Republic yes and we have Vojek Kalas up next for the Czech Republic riding the uh, men junior. Look at that save, yeah. Almost lost it there. He did incredibly well to hold on to that. Incredible. I think that's why he's so happy. He's got those final points. He didn't mind. Big smile there on that face. Well done, Alex. Okay. Here we go. So, Vojek out next. Oh, I think he's... Was he just having a look at the section here? I think he's actually out on the first gate. Let's see what happened. Yeah, he went for the 40-point uh, gate by the looks of it. Went a bit wrong and jumped off there over the bike, both feet down. That is a fail, so he will get a zero. See, this is what it is. He wanted those 40 points. Maybe have been a bit too hungry and lost yeah. out, you know? Yeah, that is, that is upsetting. I do feel sorry for him there. there. Is, there is a level of gambling in here, you know? You've there got is. to take that risk, but you're only gambling on yourself and on your ability. So we've got Sweden up next. Yep, we have Hilda Andersson from Sweden. She's a very good rider. She's been on the podium in World Cups before. She's uh, made a good few finals in her time. Very strong rider. Great to see her over from Sweden here in Glasgow for the World Championships. And going straight in for this 20-point gate here. Lot of balance here. Oh, yes. Well composed. So that's... Uh, That'll be a 20 points there, total of 30, creeping Sweden up, up the table. Let's see what she's going to go for here. I think that's another 20 points if uh, she gets through this gate. Yeah, you can hear the team in the background getting behind her, giving her some encouragement. And uh, Trials is incredibly, incredibly physical. So uh, I'd just like to point out that it looks like they're kind of going through the sections fairly slowly, but each move takes a lot of control and balance and really takes it to full body sport really got to try and stay solid on the whole bike so a lot of effort to get through oh, oh no do you know i think the wheel just slipped off there those metal the, on the metal on the uh, on the barrel there may have caused the tire slip yeah i think she just caught the edge of that metal ring she's gonna have to move on straight to section number four no points there but she can carry on yeah so she's gonna be going up for the 20 point gate here i think about 30 seconds left switch to back tire straight way down to the floor nicely done as soon as she crosses that line that will be another 20 points 50 so far and three penalty points so of course she's got two penalty points left but you can only have one per sector okay here we go oh dive in the front wheel in a little bit low there respect for the 100 percent effort the commitment hilda well wish i had that kind of commitment in my life <laughs> unbelievable here we go well done I think we're both lacking hilda, commitment in both ends there. there whether that be on the bike or anywhere but that is a fantastic effort from hilda she's yeah. really gone for it yeah you can really see there that is what happens if you land the front tire just slightly below the edge but you have to put all of your weight into that front end of the bike she really knows she's the back too so adam Morwood now for great britain yes here we go come on adam he's gone for the 30 points he's for the 30 points now this to me looks like a very very i know i actually I mean, we haven't seen anybody do no, this one yet because i feel like it's just as hard as the 40 but adam's yeah. gone he's so actually no what he's doing is in, look at that very clever guy Instead oh of going wow hook on the first move he's found his way around to go through the 40 that point is, gate nicely done adam he's very smart yeah, adam. yeah move on big move to back wheel yes adam no drummers there much more look at that. so he'll actually get the 40 points so he was uh, very clever with that approach very cool oh, he's held it yeah, he just uh, 
Nearly lost the run up there, but time he has lost nearly a minute on that first gate, so it has taken a little bit longer. Let's see if that's going to affect it overall. Yeah, it's interesting because uh, if he'd gone for all the 30 points and gone quicker, would he have ended up with more points? Exactly. Oh no, we will see. Looks like he's going for the 30 point gate on sector number three as well, but already up on 70 points I think he knows. for Adam Morewood. He knows that he's on uh, got a time constraint here, so he is trying to pick up the pace. Yes, hello! Yeah. You can really see here in the background. Lovely to see the, the guys getting behind him. Yeah, the British rider's got really... Yeah. He's got a motor now here. Really got to change into a different gear and step his pace up. 25 seconds to try and get through these last couple of moves. Very experienced competition rider, Adam. So he is like he's already on 100 points. 15 seconds left. Come on, in Adam. Great Britain in third place oh, right now. Yes, Adam. Yes, Adam. Fantastic. Another 30 points. 160 points, the same as Vincent Hermans. So 160 points for Adam. That is a great effort for Team GB. You Look really at that hook. Just on that, that break really doing its job. You can really hear the team getting behind Adam there. That's fantastic. Great effort, Mr. Morwood. I'm holding back from screaming out here because we can just, everyone can hear us as it is, but fantastic work there from Adam. Very, very nicely done. On to Switzerland now and uh tim fry for switzerland men junior 26 inch rider currently on 70 points so let's see uh what tim can do to, to get them up the table yeah so switzerland down in 10th in 12th place as it stands but you can see there from the current ranking finland are actually ahead with 340 points but still a lot of riders to come through great britain currently in third place 220 points. I might just keep that score in my head for now, just to remember, <laughs> just in case. But. And Tim is making light work of this so far. He's doing really well, moving steadily through sector two, going for this balancy line. Shimmying his way up there. It's that sh it's shimmying, so I like that. That's a shimmying. good term. We should keep that. He's shimmying his <laughs> way up the log. You're going to see a lot of me doing that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the back wheel, perfectly. Perfectly placed Very nicely back done. wheel there. Crowd there eagerly watching. So uh, it's interesting to just check out the perspective of the height of these obstacles compared to those barriers and the people around the edges as well. Because a lot of these are a long way up. That's about just over a meter that barrel. Straight side up to back wheel. Be careful getting onto the beam as well. Yeah, this is where you can catch your back wheel just on the edge of that beam standing up and just topple straight over. Doing well to compose himself here. He's only got 20 seconds left, so if he's going to try and get some points in section number four, because he is tight on time, but he's looking calm. He doesn't worry. He's not worried about the timing. I think he's just going to try and get the points for this last section. He's only got seven seconds left, so let's see. Five. Is he going to make it? Oh, I'm not sure. That's time. So that is time. I think he's only going to get those 20 points in sections one, two, and three. So 60 total to add to uh, Switzerland team score. Not a bad score. It just shows that you really have to keep moving all the way through. And we go to Jan Welt from Germany next. Men junior 20-inch rider is going to be starting in just a moment. Grouping up to some of the top riders now. We've got Germany and then France and then Spain, who are the current third, second and first winners of the team trial. It's all to play for here. I'm really, I'm really excited to see there's some really good contenders out there today. Yeah, absolutely. We've still got many very, very good riders to come. So Jan, Jan Welt from Germany up now. 20 points already in the first sector. Looking for the 30 point gate here. Up to back wheel, nice and confident. Holding it on the back wheel and then putting that front wheel down to hook and hold the bike up onto that log. It's going to go for the 30 points here. Red gate, nicely done. Yeah, nice little twist there to the left hand side. So you can see these bikes are very, very specialist compared to uh, most of the other bikes you would have seen over the World Championships. Of course, every bike is completely different for all the different disciplines, whether it's uh, time trial bike whether it's a downhill bike cross country etc etc 
and uh, trials bikes are no exception. No seat on these bikes just to save a lot of weight. And of course, there's no chance to sit down when you're riding through obstacles like this. It just gets in the way. It does. It just gets in the way. You just don't need it. Anyway, no, unnecessary. Yeah, so uh, the bikes are very, very specialist, commercially available. Lots of different companies now making them all over the world. Um, on the back wheel here. And of course, the brakes are incredibly strong as well. So he's riding the front rim brake there. Won't see uh, hydraulic rim brakes on many other bikes these days, except for trials bikes, because it just gives that instant stop in power and like flex in the wheel. Come for the final section now. 110 so far. Yeah. Come on, Jan. Germany. Last. Oh, eight. nice and easy through that last gate. I think he was playing it safe. 120 points for Jan there to add to Team Germany's score. Very calculated. Very calculated there see the final look at him just roll up like no brakes i think when i saw it look, lovely little read no brakes there. no brakes just Beautiful rolling done. through really using that momentum to help him get onto the obstacle and he's he's very happy with that you can see smiling so on to france now so we have robin bertiati from france now robin is an incredibly good rider. He was actually top 10 in the elite riders in the World Cup, but he is still a junior. So I think we're going to see some pretty special riding from him. He's going on the back wheel. Look at okay. that. Wow. Straight through another 40 points. 80 points so far. So I have to say, Robin has been putting up some incredible videos on social media with absolutely huge moves, and he is still a junior. It's incredible what these guys can ride. 40 points there again. Yeah, so he's just got to get this last balance being part of the section. Gap across with the front wheel on top. Moving quickly and confidently. Look at that. Yes, a minute left. Just under a minute left. Just two sectors to go. Switches straight up to back tire and down. Look Very nice this. pace. Very nice pace. Yeah, he's got the big hook move. So like I said, we're going to have a very, very exciting time watching the 20-inch juniors ride over the next couple of days. Don't forget the uh, junior qualification or semi-finals is tomorrow. Big switch move there, pulling sharply back to the handlebars. So it's a straight up to back wheel. 26 seconds left. When he equal Milo score, can you hear it? Everybody getting wild for him in the audience. Come on. Oh, he tried to go to front wheel. He's got 15 seconds. He's for the English breakfast. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, back wheel. Back wheel. Going for the Scottish breakfast instead. Here we go. Big <laughs> Robin, 200 points. This only the second rider we've seen able to get through for 200 points, and including three times elite world champion Vince Lamont didn't even get the full 200. No 26 points. all the way through yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We still have time. We still have time. But just look at that hook there, really rolling through. You can see by the cameraman standing at the side there taking a photo how big that move is. It's overhead height. It is an absolutely massive move. Very powerful rider. Hey, now the uh, current team champions here. Yeah, we have Victor Perez from Spain rolling in, making his start. So 40 points already on the first gate this is absolutely incredible and again he is a junior rider so it's pretty amazing to see him taking on these elite gates and that's what we can see in these teams team events we can see these junior riders just proving that they're capable of riding elite level already incredible Most of them are already they're ready for the elite so you know the only thing stopping them is their age exactly yeah i mean uh, we've seen that from a couple of these riders have made finals as juniors in the world cup they compete in the elite category there is no junior category in the world cup and they they compete all together we've seen many of them in the finals competing against the big boys so here we go we're looking for another 30 points on sector four here got quite a good pace 43 seconds left to get these last few gates a little wrong way side up pushing the front wheel in sliding through the back wheel so the final, he's going to go for the 30 point here. This is still, this is about six foot. This one here. And the other, I think it's about 150, I would say. Okay. So, uh, one meter 50 is about 60 inches, about 40 foot tall, right on the edge of that one. Holds it nicely. 160 points. Well, that will keep the Spain, Spaniard, sorry, in the top three there. So they're currently third, but there's still all to play for. Loads to play for still. Look at this. 
Nice slow mo replay there. Hook in the front wheel. Look, Look at, at that. that. Yes. Really, really kept his weight forward there. Really nice switch. Really good job there. Imagine the amount of force you need to put through the bike to push the bike that far forwards up over such a big obstacle. So Australia now. So we have Matthew Harding here, Men Elite 26 inch. This is his first time in the World Championship. Uh, riding here for Team Australia. This will be their last, I think they've only got three riders. I believe you are correct, they only have the three riders here. So he's gone for the red for 30 points and he's through. 20 points, sorry. 20 points on the first sector for Matthew. And that will put Australia in triple digits now. Yep, so they're up to a total score of just 100 gone for the, points. The 10 in the logs, obviously, just felt that that was what he wanted to stick by. Rather get some points than none. We have France leading the current uh, score so far with 360 points in total, closely followed by Finland and Spain, both on 340 points. And Great Britain, not too far behind, we're on 220 points. Uh, in fifth place currently. Of course, this is always changing as the riders go through. Australia jumping up into ninth place now. All positive so far. He's going to want to come out of this whole come on, uh, section with, with points. Fighting his balance. This is fantastic. He did ride in the World Cup in France a couple of weeks ago as well. Doing really well here. Probably not used to the cold weather, let's be no, honest. He's probably thinking, I wish I wore trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Where's the sun? Yeah. What's this in the sky? This, this is summer. <laughs> this is, uh, I want to say it's Scottish summer, but actually yesterday it was a beautiful... Oh, oh going to get a five there, unfortunately. He's running out of time there as well. That's 80 points in total Fantastic there. Fantastic effort from Matt there for Australia on their 26-inch elite rider. He did move him up quite far, and he also got more points than Nathan Mummery in the 20 oh, earlier on. Nathan's not going to be happy with that, is no. he? <laughs> oh... All right. Some of these, they won't live it down. I'll remind Nathan later when I find him. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have Kotaro. Uh, Japan. Yokota from Japan. The uh, men junior 20-inch rider. Look at that. He's got oh, it. He's great a... for the maximum score already. So that's good. An English one. breakfast move there. Yes. The uh, hook to front wheel. And cruising through for 40 points on sector one. He is a junior rider as well. Just showing the caliber of the junior riders coming through at the moment. So they're they're going to be in the 200 points right now. Yeah, going oh. for the 30 points on sector two, looking pretty confident, doing well on time as well. Yeah. Be pretty composed. I'm going to let's see. I think he's going to go for the 40 points here, you know. So I think so yeah. too. I reckon it'll be a front to back swap. So to the front, up to the front, to the back, switching yeah. down to the floor. Nice. I'd like to see someone completely clear that. No, front wheel all the way over. It'd be very stylish, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But English street styly. Yeah, so. Here we go. So Straight up to back wheel across and looking to go for the balance beam. Another 40 points added to his score. Japan doing very, very yeah, well. They're here. creeping Look up. Look at them. Yeah. They're flying up. Overtake the UK so far. Looks like he's going for another 40 point gate. So he's got two more gates for the 40 points here. It's 30 seconds left though, the clock is ticking. He's gonna have to, I was gonna say he really wants to get that first try. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna have to make, pick up the pace now, let's see. Oh! oh. Just got his pedal strokes wrong. 110 points in total. You really mess it up. If you don't get it first time, it can really ruin your flow. You might have a different thing like how you're gonna approach it, but so unfortunate there. That is a shame. So uh, if you've just joined us, welcome to the Mixed Team Trials event, the uh, World Championships here in Glasgow in Scotland. It's been a fantastic, fantastic week of competition so far. And on the overall medal table across all the disciplines, we have to say the UK's done very well. They're currently on 41. We're going to see if England can, uh, or if the UK can add to that score tonight. Got the, uh, the youngster from Slovakia. Yes, we have Jacob Mudrak from Slovakia now. He's a, another junior 20-inch rider. <laughs> Going very, very well. Looking for another 30 points. Yeah. Look at that control on the back wheel. Perfect control on the back wheel there. 50 points now in total. 
got one minute left and let's see which gate he's going to approach um, what he feels more comfortable with I think he's, can see he's going for those 30 points crossing the bar he's going to make his way up onto the beam and hold his balance and make his way to the outside so that's the first gate for the 30 points but he has to get to the very end just to get those points yeah, little fact here, we've got uh, 137 riders here in total competing in the Trials World Championships wow. from 21 nations. It's incredible. Yeah, 21 different countries. We had everyone on a street ride. We can take over Scotland, couldn't we? Yeah, so there is different aspects of uh, trials. This is, of course, the competitive top-level side of uh, the trial sport. There is also the street riding sport, and in Scotland, of course, there is a very famous rider by the name of Danny McCaskill, which I'm sure everybody listening is going to know. He's called Danny Daniel McCaskill. Daniel McCaskill. Okay, all right. Announced. Yeah. So we've got 110 points there for Jacob, which is a fantastic score for him. Like I was saying, Danny McCaskill from the Isle of Skye up here in Scotland, very very talented trials rider. He, uh, he developed his own style, a bit of a mix of BMX and trials, kind of mixed it together. Yeah, really put uh, trials on the map. Really put trials on the map, yeah. And uh, I believe a lot of his team members are here uh, checking out the trials competition this week. They've been up in Fort William at the downhill doing some performances, I believe. So, uh, Finland are up again here, trying to hold hold their spot here. Second place right now, not far from France. Well, I think they're going to be overtaking very, very soon. They will be jumping up. It's another 20 points there now, equal with France. So, this is Magnus Carlsen for Finland. He's a junior 26-inch rider, so still very, very young. We've got some uh, very, very impressive, impressive junior riders here this year. Also going to be going for a slightly uh, easier route here. Yep, I think he's going for the 20 points. So... Uh, we should probably explain that there's actually three parts, or there can be three or even four parts to each individual gate. So you'll have one A, one B, one C, and you have to complete all three sections of that gate to get the total points. If you put your foot down or touch any part of your bike other than the tires throughout any parts of those gates, then that means you don't get the points for any of those gates. And in the team trial here, they actually have to cross the white line before they are awarded the points for the gates. So. If he was going here now. all three sections, this A, B, and C, and then put his foot down before he crosses the white line on the floor, there he, he gets the points. The points. Yeah. So, yeah. so you can see he's just getting those points as he goes through. Nice little pedal up to front wheel there. Calm and collected run. Kept uh, went with the safe options there. I feel. Yeah. So a total of 90 points there for Magnus. Great riding. Well and, done. Uh, are going to want to take that approach to try and keep their uh, running on the top. You can really see some of the tyre pressures there on that clip. Here he is rolling through the last section. It's all preferences. Some riders will go straight to back wheel. Some riders will go straight to two, but it's all down to what the rider feels most comfortable with. So, Exactly. And now we are here with Marco Nardinocci from Italy. So he's going to be hoping to jump them up the leaderboard even further. They're doing very well. Fourth place at the moment. By the time he finishes the run, potentially much higher up on the back wheel. So he's going for another 30 points. Very, very good. Team Italy really have been stepping up their game. He had a fantastic ride in the World Cup, finishing in uh, 13th place, I believe, in the World Cup just two weeks ago. Section number three, what the gates are going to go for. He's probably going to get those 30 points here. So, as we were saying, there's more than one gate to get those 30. And he's got to do the first one here. He's going to side up, up to the next wheel to, to get to the second. Yeah, I'd just like to take a minute to uh, explain the bikes because they are very, very different from any other bike sport. We have very high bottom brackets, so where the pedals go through, we have a little bit more clearance for the obstacles. So the bike he's on there is about 65 millimeters above the line of the axles as he goes through for another 30 points. Beautifully done 
finish off on 140 points. That's a great score. He's going to put Italy in the second position right now. Yeah. Uh, so like I was just saying about the bikes, yeah, the, the bottom bracket's much higher than normal bike. We also have um, we also have no seats on the bikes. The bikes are generally a little bit longer than normal bikes as well, so quite a long wheelbase to aid with getting over the obstacles. And uh, a very steep head angle on the front of the bike, along with very, very sharp brakes. So here we are with Thomas Petkacker, the 2018 uh, world champion. He won the rainbow jersey back in 2018 in China. Very, very powerful rider. Some of, some of us like to call him the the Hulk. <laughs> yeah. He is very powerful. Another. Yeah. He is an incredibly powerful rider. Lost a bit of weight this year, actually. So he's a little bit lighter than he has been in previous years. Yeah, he's riding really well right now. He's gone for those four, oh, yeah. 40 points there. Yeah. 40 points. He's going to definitely want to try and pick up. Uh, maximum 200 points here, I think. Now, I'm interested to see if he's going to go straight to the back wheel on this. I reckon he'll go straight up to the back wheel. We haven't seen anybody else do it. Yes. But he's a bit of a monster. Tried to hold the balance. Oh, he he held it. it. Very close. He wanted to save a bit of time there. He's got a minute left. So he's used up half of his time. Come on, Thomas. Staying on the back wheel. Just to get those 40, he's got to ride through the end. And then out the line, there we go, another 40 points there. He's actually part of the international team of life cycle trials uh, with many international riders training under them and uh, helping and supporting each other along the way by Carol Serling from Poland, who is a very experienced rider. He will be here himself yeah. as a team captain as well. I believe he might actually be competing here as well. And, uh, of course, he's part of the Shindig Media crew as well. Yeah, another Shindig Media rider from the Pekaka boys. Let's see. He's Come on, here we go. Attempt. Come on. Wheel over the edge. He's run out of time, 13 seconds. He really needs to get through that. I think he's going to have to pedal straight yeah, through it. In. Come on. Oh, no! Oh, my Lord. It just wasn't... Whoa, he went for it. I think he went for it. He really did. Oh, just literally rode face first into that block. I hope the block's okay. <laughs> yeah, is anyone going to check Kenny on that Belay block? Kenny here, he's, uh, he's actually four times world champion next to us, commentating for yeah. the French guys. Laughing his head off there. That was look, look at this, look at this. Just no, oh, yes, Thomas. no pull up there. Just a little bit too quick. <laughs> that was absolutely amazing. I wonder if he got a shindig from that. Oh, oh my God, that was fantastic. Looked like he got a teeth. Right. That was, um, the uh, yeah. Czech Republic Very rider up next. That was, <laughs> that was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> never, never fails to put on a show, Thomas. 160 points there for Thomas. So uh, Martin Dabrowski up next for Czech Republic. Elite 26-inch rider. 20 points in sector one. 30 points. Oh, 30 points. Just kept it. Yeah, that's 30. Front wheel didn't go through. Yeah. He's, he's got the points, okay, he's got the points, it's fine. Got the points, that's good. <laughs> on the back wheel. An approach, going for another 30 here as well, I think. Yeah, playing it sensible. Oh, that was a great ride, but there by Thomas, that was, uh, that was exciting. A couple that of new can, moves. That yeah. can easily end in a, in a very bad day. Uh, if you dive your way into the front end of that bike, he's going up such a big obstacle. Well, let's, let's hope his bike's all right, too. Oh, oh, held his back, almost lost it there. As you can close. see, he had to really jump through. And now, uh, see which one he's going to go for now. Yeah, let's see what Martin chooses. He's going for the 30 points on sector three as well. So remember, all of these scores count. It's really how you can do as a nation, as a team. So he wants to get as many as he can. 12 seconds to get through these last 30 points. And Ooh, down, unfortunately, right. that is the end of his ride. 80 points, though, he will take through for Team Czech Republic. He only had a couple of seconds left anyway, so... Sweden will be up next. Yes, we will have Ludwig Andersen next for Sweden. Men Elite 20-inch rider coming out on the 20-inch wheel bikes. And uh, riding, whether you ride 20 or 26 inches, literally just a personal preference, what your body type actually kind of prefers and how you feel more stable and comfortable on the bike. I've competed in both. Um, 
not many people have completed both. Actually, you generally, you get one, you stick with it, you get good on it, and you're comfortable on it. But, uh, some people find it very interesting to switch things up. So here we go. Ludwig is uh, on 50 points so far after the first two sectors onto the whiskey barrels, which uh, we are hoping are still full of whiskey. Yep. Will they be here tomorrow? Who knows? Somewhat lighter tomorrow. <laughs> All right, here we go. Along the balance beam. Nice little, little style back. there, yeah. Nice little bit of style there. As well as going on to section number four. The reels. Fantastic Scottish artwork as well going on here. They've really done a great job with the sections. They have done a fantastic job. Really beautiful artwork. I'm looking forward to seeing how everything pans out over the next few days. You can see in the background there the course for the uh, individual events over the next three days. And there will be more trials tomorrow and Friday and Saturday. So we're spoiling you all. Yep. Oh, close. He's got 30 seconds left. So he has got time. He didn't put his foot down, so he can still do it. Trying to stay clean. The crowd really getting behind him here. Really gets an absolutely packed crowd in here. Yes. Lovely work. Straight through. That'll be uh, 30 points there. So that's a total of 40 Swedish. 40 points there for Ludwig. 140. Let's just see this hook replay. Look at this. Putting the front wheel right on the edge. Right on the edge there, you see. And then may, may, many of you may think that his tyres are flat, but they're not. They're just hitting the edge yeah, it's of the obstacle. A lot of force through. I would imagine most of these guys would run about. Oh, Oliver Waitman now like. from Great Britain already in section number three. Yeah, Oliver flying through. 40 points on the first sector and 30 points on the second sector. Um, I will say this. You guys have better watch up and coming Oliver here. He is really, yeah, he really up and coming. In the World Cup two weeks ago out in front. France, uh, fantastic result for him. Still a junior rider, not even a second year. So, uh, not section, even a he got the 40 there. He just yeah. missed it. He went for the 40 points in sector three as well, and flying through over a minute left. He's actually one of the fastest two. riders. Yeah, this points. is fantastic from Oliver. Yeah, I think he's got it got a first time. Look at that. Even even Thomas Beckhardt have really struggled on that. Wow, this is really good ride. Great ride. Oh, yeah, in front of his home crowd. On the back wheel, flying through. Yes, Oliver, come on. Oliver's representing also the, the Derbyshire Bike Trial Centre. They've got a fantastic trials park here in the UK. A huge trial park. His younger brother, Eddie, is an amazing one. Yes. Has Ollie got it? Yes. yes. 190 points. The second highest fantastic score point. of any riders. The so second far. highest score. Well done, Oliver. Into. Look at that. The crowd, you can hear him going absolutely wild from here. All David, bit. David Johnston in the background there from Team GB. Some other strange man clapping his hands in the background. <laughs> and yeah, that is amazing riding there by Oliver Waitman. And here we go, Debbie Studer from Switzerland. Very experienced rider. She's been riding for quite a long time now. I believe about 10 years. Competed in the World Championships for quite a long time. That's really good balance from Debbie. That is a strong point. Very good balance Very of the top. beams. Yeah. And flying through. Picking up that pace. Degree, yeah. It's not what we're seeing enough of. I mean, and they're really taking it lightly. But I think it's a great warm-up for them, you know? It's a good warm-up. So... Here she is going on to... Section two, three, sorry, and 20 points there. Now we're on to section number four. Debbie doing really well here. She's good at knowing what she can and can't do and uh, making sure she gets through it. She'll be wanting to do as well as she can for the Swiss team. Yes, nicely through for the 10 points. Very smooth, big up to front there. And then here we go into the last sector, looking for this big move. I think she's got it. I reckon she can do it. Yeah. Really confident. The crowd getting behind her there in the background. Come on. There we go, Debbie. Oh! It's going to be a damp, so she won't get the points for that one, unfortunately. But still a solid 50 solid score there for, for Debbie Studer from Switzerland. Got the second place in the, in the uh, uh, North American trials. 
this year. She's second place this, this year in, in Bentonville Bike Fest that was there this year. Yeah, Bentonville Bike, Bike Fest, they had a fantastic UCI competition over there this, this summer. And I believe we will be going back there next year as well. Oh, for sure. All right, here we go. So, the Germans. Germany. We have Lennart Hookster here from Germany. Uh, let's see how he gets on the sector two. 20 points in sector one. Straight up to the back wheel. So slightly different approach to the other riders. Yeah. So basically, when you actually have these gates, the gates are kind of fairly open. As long as you go through, you can choose your own path to a degree. So some riders might find it easier, like we've just seen Lennart do here, going straight to back wheel, dropping down to the right-hand side. And it's good to see them take a different approach. A bit like a racing driver takes a different racing exactly. line, you know? Slightly different in the corner. Here you can approach within the margins that the uh, section builders have given you. You can decide, like we're seeing here, some riders opting to go for this line up onto the barrel on the gap across. Other riders approaching from the other side, pedaling straight up through that What gate. would happen if they went through the gate backwards? So, yeah, you can go through the gate backwards as well. That's um, absolutely fine, as long as the... Uh, the line between the axles, front and rear axles, goes straight through the gates. You can go forward, backwards, sideways, whatever you like. Oh, oh he's going to have to get back up there, I think, for that, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to have to go back through and go straight through off the end. Now, uh, he's going to lose some time here, so I think he yeah. might aim to just get these 40 points here. Yeah, 16 he seconds to... left. He wants to get through these, get through this 30 gate point, or 30 point gate, sorry. On the back wheel, drop it down. Yes, he's done it. Gonna get the points there. Here he goes. He's out of oh, time he's... now. He was trying anyway, yeah. but he's out of time. He felt a bit rough. So 80 points there for Lennart Junior, 26-inch rider. Look at that! Just, just losing his balance. As you can see, they'll take yeah. their foot off to try and get so, the weight. Yeah, also, did you see he slightly rolled back before he jumped off to the side? And that's because if his front wheel was oh, was through that gate at the end and he jumped off to the right-hand side, he would have been given a five-point and he couldn't carry on. Whereas as he rolled the bike back just before he fell off and lost his balance, yeah. very quick thinking there, very smart move. So he could go around and try again and get the points for that gate. So we uh, are here now, 20-inch French rider Nina. Nina Vabre, she is up now. Straight on to uh, section two now. 20 points for section one. Yep. On for 18 years old, Nina. So she's a very young rider. A big future ahead of her in this sport. Here we go. Yeah, perfect place on. with the back wheel as well. On French team right now. Currently in fourth place, but there is still, still a few riders to come through, isn't there? Yeah, right. well, look, we're third at the moment. Great Britain. Come on, oh, Great Britain. I'll just take a nice big screenshot of my brain of that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, she's balanced there. You can see the wheel ah. balanced either side and the bottom bracket's just high enough to stay clear of that barrel. And that's, that's not easy to do. It's Many riders won't do that. Point. Obviously, she's feeling comfortable with her ability, so she knows that she can. Here we go. So going for this side-up move up onto the barrel, we saw Hilda slip her back wheel on that earlier on. We'll try and do this gap across. Holding yes. it on the back wheel, yep. Dropping nice. the front wheel onto the balance beam. Hey, on that beam. Look at that balance, Nina. Yes, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nina Vabre. Here we go. Straight up through. She's going through the 30-point gate. No messing around. She made quick work of that pedal up at the beginning there. Spinning around on the back wheel. That's going to put it smooth. Well, it's in the second position now, so they are creeping up. Yeah, so she's got. she's running out of time, though. Got just five seconds to get through this, so she's got to get through this gate. Two, one. They're watching closely at the, at the edge. I don't it. think she's going to get the points for that gate. I think they're going to let her ride. No, they've let her know. She's done. She's, she's done. done. Yeah, unfortunately, she didn't quite get the points for sector four there, so she'll finish on a total of 50. And then next up, we have a girl that has needs really no introduction from Spain world champion, previous world champion, we have 
Vera Baron. Baron, one of our latest guests on the Shindig podcast, which you guys can hear about many of these riders. If you type in the Shindig podcast online, you can hear about these riders, what they do with their lives, their day to day, how they train. Yeah, you can really see what it's like to be a pro athlete and not just pro athletes, but we've interviewed a lot of people on the Shindig. So uh, if you want to get behind into the hearts and minds of these riders, yes. check out Shindig podcast for some more info on these guys. And here we go, Vera oh, Baron. Through. 20 points now for Vera in the first section yeah so she'll want to be uh, show that she can keep up with the likes of Nina good pace here from Vera as well on a new bike for her actually she's got a, a white clean carbon there I almost thought that was uh, Borja with long hair <laughs> <laughs> but here we go 20 so I think she's going to go for straight to back wheel yeah she's going for the 20 points as well Straight to back wheel holds it. I think she's going to go to back and turn to the right. So first rider we've seen doing this line, staying on there, controlling that amazing balance there from Vera. I mean, nicely done. Along the balance being no problem. And this is sector four. Oh, I know this is Vera, one of Vera's favourite competitions because she gets to compete with everyone. She actually wants to compete with all of the guys up there. So we had Nina earlier on with a top score, top female score of 100 points in total. Let's see if she can... Uh, keep it up there just to kind of have a little a little private oh look yeah. I can keep up with the score on the back wheel dropping down yeah. 29 seconds she'll have to get a bit of a move on 25 seconds left where's the time gone come on we can hear uh, I think that's Andrew Choi over the PA yeah <laughs> come on Vera here we go let's go Vera lining up last gate nine eight Seven, six. Oh, and unfortunately that will be nine to one points for Vera. Oh, I missed it there. She she just missed it there. Sorry, so pedal yet. Yeah. It's not quite ninety points. It's still a fantastic score though. I mean, Vera's really passionate rider, and I know she's not going to be happy with that. She's so passionate about this. It's okay. It's better to get a slightly lower score here than uh, when it comes into the individual, and she can win her, try and win her jersey back. See if she can. Get those arms back in the rainbow jersey. Absolutely. And next up, we're going back to Team Japan. We have Ryoga Tsuchiya. So all the Aussie riders have been now, so we'll go straight back to the start. But Japan have still got some riders. Oh, what's a Tsuchiya? Another new technique front wheel, yeah? So Ryoga is known for uh, uh, a very smooth, typical Japanese style. I absolutely love how these guys ride yeah, over Japan. really stylish him and Tom Shiyazaki really pushing the top end of the sport over in Japan at the moment look at this light work is he going to go for the roll down oh. nutter so it's so 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 I can't can't describe how steep that is yeah they gave him one point on the, oh on the first he didn't one get the 40 on the first I see yeah I, I, I missed it as well I, I may have missed that happened. so we may see on the uh, slow mo but yeah what, oh he's not on that beam. That, the is he going to do what we spoke about earlier? Backwards. Look at this, back through the gate. Yes! Yeah. Fantastic approach. He's got a smile on his own face there. There we yeah. go. Switching up to back wheel. Look at that. Smooth, fast, perfect wheel placement on his way through. He's stopping to think. He's not even doing... He's keeping his correction hops to a minimal, minimal amount of movement between the obstacles, which keep his heart rate down, keep his energy up. It's going to take some time off. Yeah, but 25 seconds left. Come on, Ryoga. Here we go, Ryoga. Come on. Oh, so close. You can see, compared to the common set in the background, how high he has to get his front wheel to get over this obstacle. No kicker whatsoever on the floor. There it is. Cooking that front wheel. And we saw Oliver Woodman earlier make that look so oh, so good. Good again. They're getting behind him. out of time. One. He's not going to get the point. Smiling, and he's out of time. Yeah. Look at that smile, though. That's what we like to see. He's happy. Yes, well done there. Fantastic riding for, by Ryoga. Very, very good effort. So, uh, back to Slo the Slovakian riders, I believe. So that'll be 80 points for Ryoga there. And next up, we have Samuel Alavati. Samuel Laverty is 10 times Slovakian national champion. 
He's uh, part of the Life Cycle Trials crew as well. Another Life Cycle Trial rider. He's a silky smoothest. smooth. <laughs> He's like the smoothest rider. I know, know, right? I don't know, between smooth. him and Ryoga, it's pretty close. And obviously, Oliver Woodman from Germany. So, uh, he's gone and got the, the full 40 on section yeah. number one. I reckon he's going to go for a 40 on all all sectors of this course. Let's just see. On the back wheel, look at this. So precise. Little boost. Yeah. That's back wheel down. Yeah. Straight through into sector three. So 120 points already. Two sectors to go. And he's doing very well on time. One minute, ten left. Sorry, two sectors yeah. down. I reckon Sorry, he's going to go to back wheel, is he? Fast. No. Yeah. He's going to front to back it. Okay. Yes. Come Still, on no one's doing that holding it on the beam there, like yoga there. Just, it's just amazing. That yoga, one. the only one managing to actually stay on the beam. It's very tricky. Yes. Yes. Oh, he's, he's kept it. Oh, how did he save that? I don't, I actually don't think his foot touched the no, wood, but no, they, no. they have given him a point for that. Okay, he's just going to move on, guys. That's, that's good. Very unfortunate. To trap this last gate. Let's see if he can make it 160 points in total. Come on, Samuel. He has got this. I've seen him do some huge moves before. Here we go. Multiple finalists in the World Championships. He's going to have to go again, but he's got he's got the time. 15 seconds left. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. The crowd's really getting behind him. It really oh, wild. Yeah. The here. Really. Here he goes. He's going to be out to run out of time. Yeah. He's out. Oh. He's out of time. Unfortunately, that's 120 points for him. He's going to be a bit disappointed. I know he's going to have wanted to finish on more than that. That he is going to be disappointed. We know Sam pretty well, and yeah, he's not going to sleep well tonight now. Yeah, that is such a shame. Such a shame. But anyway, really? we, what, we can see this again. Oh yes, you can yeah. see. He his, didn't touch. It was the, 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 the frame there, I think, on his bash plate, as we he would did say. did touch his heel down on the way as well. So, just a split second. Bit of a shock for him not to get those hooks either. He just might have ruined his flow. It just, that's all it takes. It's one little slip. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, next up, we have Aliska Rukova. Aliska Rukova from Czech Republic. Now, she's actually very, very good. Seen this girl ride quite a few times. I believe she's been on the podium as well. Definitely a solid finalist for the women's elite uh, in trials, in World Cups. So let's see how she gets on here. Same approach as Hilda Ayala, so she doesn't slip off those barrels. Unfortunately, a zero in the first sector, but 20 points on sector two. Oh, look at this. She's Ooh, going. This is a really this nice very approach. interesting way of getting 30 points Get here. Get those so. 30 points. Yeah, that might save her from the Very section one that didn't get any. So she's going to make up, make up for those points here. I think she will need to get moving quite quickly though. 50 seconds left. No, uh, the way that she's chosen to go through these gates, of course, rather than doing the big moves, the big side up moves from the floor up onto the barrels, means that it's taken quite a lot more time trying to control her balance. Oh, 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 oh. Well saved. What a fight! Yes. Aliska fighting hard there for her team to keep those points. 50 points already. Much more rewarding when you've got to fight for that, to be honest. Yeah, turning on the back wheel. Looks like we've got a bit of rain coming in as well. Oh, getting a little bit damp now. Yeah, a bit unfortunate for Great Britain next, especially with Charlie up next. He always seems to rain when he rides. Yeah, but it's okay because uh, Charlie probably needs the rain to give everyone else a chance yeah <laughs> and, he, and he's on your bike so it just automatically oh gets God, he's on my bike he's gonna be on your bike I'm going to ride in the rain. right let's 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 just okay. let's just see how unfortunately Alyssa just out of time there just but she the still takes away 50 points for team Czech Republic next up is the great great Britain the one of the greatest of Britain Charlie Rolls yes that is his name he rolls so it's uh, another little replay here. Look at this amazing fight for balance there. Ah, it's so satisfying when you manage that, isn't so it? So glad she held that. So we can just see in the background, Charlie's already onto section number two. Here we go. Look at that beautiful bike he's on. So straight through. What did he get? So he's got 40. He did get 40 points on the first one. My bike has survived. Okay. <laughs> let's, see, let's see him get through this. So Charlie usually oh, rides a 20-inch bike. Look at just playing around. I don't what know why he's been on the front wheel for so long, but he's just having fun. He's loving that bike. 
front to back wheel. <laughs> really can't try yeah. to hold it on the back. We will add, this is now that much harder for Charlie because it's raining. Yeah, it's yeah. raining, but he's, he's laughing. He's smiling. Oh, he's having the time of his life. The best that bike's ever been ridden. <laughs> okay. I didn't want to say it, mate. Hit up to back wheel. Straight down to the floor. He's absolutely sailing. So, uh, like you're saying, he's known. He wants the crowd. Look at him. I told him to this gate. He's got it. Come yeah. on, Charlie. Straight up, hooking the front wheel. Okay. First try. Can he get this switch? Oh! Wow! <laughs> no, that was a very different life for everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, that was incredible riding there by Charlie Rose. It's calculated chaos with that yeah. riding. Can he get this make it 190 points? Go for the big hook. Let's see. This will be interesting. Straight to the front wheel. Straight front wheel. Going, he is a boss on 20 oh. points as well. Perfect. He is. I'm fairly sure that was the bike he's on. It's I thought. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was amazing riding there from Charlie Rolls for Team GB. I think some people may have missed it. They're just like, what? Oh, there's Mr. Steve, Steve Rogers Rod there. Teammate Steve Rogers, another Shindig Media rider. He'll be in the, the semis on Friday. That was well, fantastic. That was a great ride. That was a great I know. Ride. Bit of showboating there from Charlie, yeah. but I wouldn't expect anything else from him. Lovely. Really well composed and riding that bike better than you, mate. <laughs> Yeah, what well, can't. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I know, I know, right, so. Incredibly talented rider. Okay then, next up from Switzerland, we have Zeno Pezzati. So, uh, let's see. Oh, oh the hand down. The hand down. Will fail. That means five. just the 20 points for Team I Switzerland there. I think now there. we're really seeing the rain play its part because it's, it's very difficult because these guys early on they haven't had to ride in the rain you know yeah it does make such a huge difference when it starts raining it gets See, uh, incredibly just look, slippery front wheel slips straight off even his hand slipped there I mean yeah. if your hand's going to slip what's a tyre going to do so yeah and I have to say that uh, Charlie's decision not to take the 40 points on the second sector is a very good idea fantastic idea so here we go Oliver Widman Oliver, third place in the World Championships last year in Abu Dhabi. He is one of the smoothest people you'll ever see ride trials and in a nightclub. Not yet, not just the bike yet. <laughs> Up to back wheel. Right, that's 40 there. 40 points, no problem. Really strong rider. Something slightly different with his uh, technique here, isn't he? He's got a bit of a 20-inch yeah, style. Yeah, so actually if you watch, he's uh, very short and sharp on the pulls, on the pedal-ups on that bike. Uh, which is more what you'll see on a 20-inch technique, but uh, he's not messing around. So he's decided, as it's pretty wet, I think he's just going for the 30 points. Oh, looks like he's let his thinking he's down. Or has he got that a fire? He's got oh. a puncher. He's got a rear puncher. Is he going to carry That's on with a nightmare his... for Team Germany. Oh, no. That is a nightmare for Ollie. You can see his back tyres. Look at that. He's just flat. riding on the rim. He's going to go for it, though. He's <laughs> trying. He's going to go for it. Come on. He's not so doing unfortunate. That. I really feel for Oliver right now because I think he's he's just going to carry on. I don't know how he can carry. He is going to. The crowd are really going to get behind him now. Go through and get some points. Get another twenty. Points. Well done, Oliver. Yeah. Yes. And he do this last pedal up with it. Complete. <laughs> no air in the one, Ollie. Come on, Ollie. Come on, Ollie. Right in the Oh. Oh no, he's, is he alright? He's got a shindy. Oh no, he's got a bit of an injury there. Leg. He's gone and hit his leg. He's got a bit of an injury. Hopefully that won't affect him in the main competition. In the individual oh, that's competition. really unfortunate for Oliver. He's got tomorrow's arrest at least. He won't ride it until Friday afternoon. So oh, where did he get shame. the puncher? I think he got think? the puncher on the first, on the, in the first sector that we didn't see actually. And it Just look at that. Down. On the barrel, straight onto the rim there. Nowhere whatsoever in that back Really tire. showing the strength of that trial oh, tech rim. Here. Oh, he didn't knee. get the lift. He smashed his knee. Straight into his oh. shin. Shindig, right there. Oh, he's wearing shin pads though, so... Yeah. Uh, I hope he's all right. Okay. Anyway, Luca Pastorel, very good junior 26-inch rider from France. This guy's an absolute beast. I was training with him down in Montpellier in his really? own training ground a few months back and uh, incredibly good athlete the, the first 26 inch uh, aluminium clean we've seen today yeah most people looking for the uh, or riding the carbon 26 inch bikes or carbon 26 inch clean see that and um, brushed yeah. red colour there but it's an alum aluminium frame which obviously is generally stronger than the carbon uh, but a little bit heavier yeah so uh 
here we go. Come on, Luca. Back wheel, look at that balance beam. Making it look nice and easy, though. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this rain is going to make such a huge difference. At the moment, Great Britain up there in first place. But uh, we do have some incredibly strong riders to go. So all can change. But Luca here riding incredibly well. 80 points already. Two more sectors to go. For Team France. So Luca he finishes over 100. I believe he will jump. I know. I wish you'd just, call, just quietly admire us at the top right now whilst we can. <laughs> Somebody take a picture of the screen. Quick. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> But, uh, no, don't worry. Hartley, take a screenshot. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. He's going for the 30 points. Hook up in the race. He gets the 30 points. That is... Went for the safer 130 points. But we still have one rider to come out for Team France. Who is... Uh, Louis Grillon will be out in a moment for France as well. But next up we have Borja, Borja Conejos from Spain now Borja world champion the uh, previous last year's uh yes he was champion wasn't he 20 in 2020 2022 one, two. Yes, no Aloy is the world champion at the moment yes Borja won 2021 2021 yeah, in Vic in Spain so uh see here on a clean carbon 20 inch yeah and he's flying through 40 points in the first two sectors let's see if he goes another 40 points it was smooth pedal to front wheel, switch to back. Is he going to hold it on there? I think he is. He's going to try. Oh, he did oh try. nearly Good lost effort. it. Very nearly he lost it there. Put up by, put off by those little specks of uh, water coming from the sky. Borja, that's rain. Yeah, he's probably not sure what that is. No. He does live in a very arid part of Spain. Okay, here we go. Relax. Into the next sector. Now remember, he's not allowed to cross any, uh, go through any gates that aren't the gates that he's going through. So if he's going through the yellow gate, he's not allowed to go through the uh, imaginary tape line between the other gates. So the 10 point gate, if he went through that, he would lose the points for the- He would get no points if he- No points stick. effectively, yeah. So first try, he's managed to hook that front wheel up over the cable wheel. It's about six and a half foot high, that cable wheel. just make well, those two meters. Look so simple. Yeah, very vertical. That's why the handlebars on these bikes are so low these days. 22 seconds. No stopping. No stopping. Roll straight for another 30 points. 100 there. Point Spain jump into the lead just ahead of us there. So Spain take the lead so far, and they still have another rider to go at the end as well. They have um, Danny Baron will be out. Yes, shortly. But Vasha Kola, now Vasha Kola is up next from Czech Republic, who is, I don't know how many times, uh, champion, national champion in the Czech Republic. He's an incredibly talented rider. Go and check him out. He rides all kinds of bikes uh, and is obviously a specialist in trials. Um, and he's got a really nice style. And, oh, fantastic to what? And unfortunately, he's just five to first. Have we kicked her? I, I didn't see it. He just failed the first sector. Hang on, we've got... He failed the uh, hookup there. Maybe we'll get a bit of a replay on that one. Oh, I, he, that is oh, very oh, unfortunate. Oh, Only the second oh, score of zero we've had in the whole competition. Uh, here we go. We can see this. I think maybe he slipped on this. Yeah. Oh, my That goodness. shows. That's because it's wet. So we yeah. saw Adam do that earlier on. Watch this. A little bit of moisture on the tyres, landing at a bit of an angle. It's slipping when it's not injured from that, because that's a sharp edge to land on. That is solid concrete. Um, so, yeah, that just shows just how slippery it is really, in the rain. Really unfortunate for Vasha there. Really, really excited to see him go through those sections. Such a good rider. But Switzerland are up now. Yep, and Vito Gonzalez trying to do that first gate. It's, it's, it's slippy. You see I the tell you what, he's, Yeah, he's uh, he's taking a big risk going straight in for this gate, but I know he can do it. There it is. Nicely done. Nice move by Vito there. This must, wow. this is, and he's just got to keep, can the, keep the composure in this rain as well. Yeah, fully trusting it. I mean, well, I don't need to imagine. I've done many competitions. <laughs> but imagine trying to ride these kind of obstacles in the dry is hard enough but when it's wet and slippery like this wow it's uh i barely leave the house when it's raining let alone ride my bike exactly <laughs> i'm actually allergic to water <laughs> um, here we go into sector three he's going to take 30 points for sector from sector two there 
right. So I hope this doesn't water down the whiskey, but we'll see it by the end of the day. Going to go for the 40 points here. Here we go, big gap to the front. Switch off the back wheel, nearly holding it. Really good switch there. It was really, really strong. Yeah, just turning round, lining up for the approach for this balance beam. Yeah, nice and central. Holding this balance nicely. All, all, all composed? Yes. Yes. So he's only got 35 seconds left. Yeah, he's going to really want to motor through and get the points for this. These last 40 points. Don't think he's going to have time. He's going to have to motor if he really wants time to get the last move as well. In the last sector. See if he can get this one first try. Oh, it's going to be so difficult with that little double step because do you go to back wheel on the bottom bit and then shunt up to the top? That's what I mean. You go straight up and one to the top. But see there, he went to the back wheel on the lower point and then the little bump up with the front wheel over the top edge. Can he get it up to back? There it is, down to the floor. He's got a move, he's going to be out of time. Oh, oh that is such a shame. He's going to finish with 110 points for the Swiss team. Didn't quite get the points for section four there, so he's done his best. And there's only um, got about three or four riders left to go, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we have our last three riders out. So we have Dominic Oswald, then Louis Grillon, and Daniel Baron are the last three riders out. So, uh, yeah, Switzerland, Germany, France, and then Spain. All these next four riders are all in the three top. Three riders. So three, next three. we have Dominic Oswald, who is uh, already on to sector two. Now, Dominic is an absolute powerhouse. He was a uh, world champion back in 2019. We've had a different world champion every year for the last five years. Uh, just showing the competitivity of the 20-inch elite category yeah. on the back wheel. In the wet. Wow. Going for the most difficult line. Doesn't matter if it's raining. Now, I know Dominic actually has trained quite a lot. It rains a lot in Germany, much like here in Scotland and the UK. Um, so uh, he is very, very good in the wet. Very but good at putting these. Look at this. Will he go for the back wheel? Yeah, straight up. Second rider to do that. I mean, yeah. only the most powerful riders are yeah. going to do that and have that confidence to go straight to back wheel. Here we go. Moving around. He's looking really methodical on this. Yeah, he's Moving. looking strong. He is. I think he's really going to have eyes on the prize for uh, winning the individual trials as well. It's a real nice insight to see where these guys might be at and where they're going to be. Uh, and how they look comfortable on these obstacles as well and in the damp conditions because it is due to rain the next few days. So a nice little well tester damp. for them because there are new obstacles for the, the first season. try. First try, front wheel straight over. Look at that. Easy. Swiveling oh, arc on those bars. Get through this last three eight. Will he be the next 20 inch rider to get maximum points in the wet as well? Oh, 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 oh. Not quite. Oh, Really unfortunate for Dominic there. Yeah. He has 60 points there for Dominic Oswald. But uh, incredible ride in there. So currently... Yeah, currently I think Spain are actually leading again. Yeah, 620 points right now. Let's just see how the... The scores are going to line up now, so just uh, okay. Louis, a few more riders sliding back on the wet concrete there. So he goes straight through onto sector two. Zero points, unfortunately, for Louis there. On the first sector. Here we go. Now he's another rider that's come on leaps and bounds. He's going for the full 40 points on the second. Yeah, he's really oh. progressed quickly. Louis has this year. He's uh, having a really good season. Yeah, riding for trial sport and. Uh, He's on the new carbon play bike. Play bike. Yeah. Yep. Looks very interesting. I like it. Yep. There's uh, not many of those around at the moment. Here we go. On the back wheel. Very new new frame. Straight to front wheel. Very smooth. Oh, yeah. Wheel. He's great riding. Looking strong right now. The uh, the French rider. Yep. He was, uh, he's such a strong rider. He really is. Yeah. Yeah. Here he goes working his way through so 40 seconds he's doing quite well on time he is he's just one so he's just got two more of these just got to keep moving uh, two more of these. 
40 points Gates. Let's see how he's going to... Will he get this first time? Yeah. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. Front wheel is over. He's still clean. Got to keep those pedals away. Judges are there watching very, very closely. Up to back wheel. Austrian judge in the background there as well. Up to back tyre. Down. Now he's got 14 seconds. Which gate is he going for? He's going for the 30 points in the last sector. Eight. Eight. Oh no, that's so unfortunate. I think he probably span on the paint and wood slats there on the floor. Just put in too much power early on. That is a shame, but that is a great effort from Louis there. You can see some of the skid marks there. They're really struggling to get some grip. Yeah, great. Oh, you can just see in that in that replay there. Sliding over the top of the obstacles, incredibly difficult. But the rain isn't phasing the crowd either. They've just put their umbrellas up. They're prepared. So Danny Baron now. So Danny Baron finished very, very close second in the Elite 26 inch in the World Championships last year. Um, same points as Jack Carthy from the UK. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, well, fortunately, unfortunately, Jack managed to come away with the win last year. So it's going to be all to play for this year. He's going to be wanting a real fight for the rainbow jersey. This is, um, it's actually, um, oh, look at that. Vera Baron's brother. Yep, brother, brother and sister. sister. They train a lot together and they are really pushing. So and he's an incredibly powerful rider. He's come on so much. I don't know if you'll remember, but he came over to London uh, back in 2019 and he rode a 20 inch. And uh, since then, he's just every year, he just stepped it up and up and up. And now he is undoubtedly one of the best riders in the world at the moment. Already on 110 points here. 48 seconds left. He First looks try, really no comfortable, doesn't he? Very, very focused. Very focused athlete here. Trains very, very hard. These guys all train incredibly hard. You have to put a lot of hours into the bike to be able to ride over these obstacles. There we go. And we try in the arena there, trying to get the noise from the arena to get him up this big hook. Oh, yeah. Yeah, slip on the front wheel there, so yes. I wonder if we'll get a replay with that, but that's going to be 190 points there for Danny Baron in the rain. Fantastic ride in there. I mean, um, that that's it. The riders have gone. The scores are in. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm quite excited. I, I think I'm right in saying that Spain have won again. I mean, that's that's fair, but there yeah. is a slight change in the, the top three, finally. Let's have a look. So we're going to just wait a moment for the scores to be updated, everything to be checked and verified before we officially say the winners in the top three. Yeah. GB in third place. That is absolutely amazing. Yes. Well done. Another medal Stick to tick away. off. That's 42 medals in the game so far. Excellent. Excellent ride in there. And we are the top scorers with uh, one less rider as well. Yeah. That's, I've just... So any any females out there that want to get into this sport, there's a nice big space for you there. there. Absolutely, yeah. So Spain in first place, 810 points. France in second. And UK in third place. What an incredible result. I am absolutely stoked. What a good way to kick off the trial here in Glasgow at Glasgow Green. ceremony of the UCI Cycling World Championships, Teams World Championships.
second place and winner of the silver medal representing France. À la deuxième place et vainqueur de la médaille d'argent. In first place, UCI World Champion. De la Medaille d'Or, representant Espagne, Daniel Segaramoto, Victor Perez Mora, Vera Baron Rodriguez, Borja Conejos Vasquez, Daniel Baron Rodriguez. will be presented by Councillor Susan Aitken, leader of Glasgow City Council. A municipal to Glasgow. Lucy E. Ladies and gentlemen, in honor of our new UCI world champion,
Ellen, please, one more time, your applause for our medalists. Mesdames et messieurs, vous les applaudir une dernière fois, non Elliot Cooper, Adam Morewood.